Hi, I'm Dave, your Inside Support Specialist at Bysher Lock and Security. Today I'm going to go over how to add a card holder in OpenOptions DNA Fusion software with you. To get started, you just need to go to the top of the screen and select Personnel. From there, go to Add Individual, and a new card record will open. From here, you can add as little or as much information about your card holder as is necessary for your organization. There's two tabs, Employee Info and Employee Info Page 2. This is all areas for you to keep information about your card holder if necessary. Once you've got your basic information that you want to add and entered for your employee, right click and update the card record. It's going to prompt you to save with a card number or not. You don't have to do that yet, so we're going to go ahead and select no. Once I've saved it one time, now I can add an employee photo to this card record as well. So I'm going to right click and go to photo properties, new, and then browse for my photo and open it. It's going to want to crop the picture, so we'll go to crop settings and it's showing the current photo size. We we'll want to keep it square, so for convenience, I will crop it to 640 by 640 and adjust the blue box around the photo. I'll select OK. And then you can save those dimensions or not. And then I will hit OK. Update the record one more time. And now I've got a photo attached to my card holder. Now I go to the New Card tab. And under Credential, I can enter the actual card number for the employee. From there, I will check the activation date, which will be your current date, and deactivation date on when I want this card to stop working automatically. Once I have that information in, I can right click and update to save the card number. And once I've saved the card number, then I can go to access levels, right click, add, remove, or modify. And then I can add an access level to this card holder by clicking on the column to the far left of the access level groups. Once I've added as many or as few are needed for this card holder, I'll select OK. Update one more time. And now that we have an active card holder in DNA Fusion. If you have any questions or requests for other videos, please feel free to send me an email at support at stlsecurity.com. Thanks for watching.